and uh, it looks like they're all kind of new here, but no, it was J-Dub and Dylan winning impressively earlier this year. So Gabe's gonna start it, let's play pickleball. Dink from Johnson and a nice spot there to his backhand. One, zero, two. There can be a lot of middle dinks coming from Diascu and Gabe Tardio. Side out. Good night. I, There's the ability of JW Johnson to put balls away. I mean, it's so much different than tennis as we talk about. You have to zero, find one, an angle, one. but there isn't a lot of room and he makes it every time. It's so good. Speed up, and the Johnson Frazier combination get the better end of that one. Where you will not see Dinks one, today one, one. is to the forehand of Dylan Frazier because on that side of the court, off the ground, his forehand is a scary sight. They do not want to put serve. the ball there. If they can avoid it, they will do everything they can to do that. One, one, Thanks two. to our referee crew for this one Onisha Smith, Jim Price, and Brenda Vieta. That's why you don't put the ball over there. Dylan Frazier right on cue, gets one, speeds it up, and sets off a series of unfortunate events for Tardio and Diescu. And there's the dominant stats of these two. They are very good, obviously, and their stats back it up. 82% win percentage for Frazier and Johnson. So what is it about Tardio and Diescu that seems to be a magical combination? The fire and ice. Uh, Tardio's got all that emotion. The youngster from Bolivia loves to bring it. And uh, Andre has all the calms, gonna make a lot of balls at the kitchen, has the reach and certainly the finishing power, but keeps their team on an even keel. It's like the heat miser and the snow miser from <laughs> the Christmas show. Second serve. Ben also mentioned his length as a yeah. factor. His Two, three, two. The, the targets you would typically hit on a player that's maybe not his size are a little bit different, not as rangy as he is. And there's that reach. So you watch Andre play, and, and you don't see these big swings like we saw from Thomas Wilson earlier, but guess what he does? That little flick right there gets the ball down. And he gets the ball down three, three, and in the two. great spot better than anybody. I love the idea the defensive lob there just got too much of it.
Wow. Finally a miss. They just grinded out a couple of saves in the middle of that. As it was J-Dub who sped it up off the ground there, so we'll keep an eye on that. Point. Oh, and 70 hit rally and then a missed return. And again, same problem that we saw earlier in the mix when you are unwinding the stack and getting to your desired side, you get misses. Point. And again, Dylan Frazier is absolutely fantastic on that forehand side. He just does damage, and here's the kitchen sink to show you what that looks like up close and personal. Point. And there's the slap back on Humana Championship Court. Championship Sunday Six, coverage three, rolls on here for men's doubles. Best three out of five, J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. As Dave mentioned, more podium finishes than the Johns brothers last season, and... So far, so good in game one against the giant killers, Tardio and Dieski. Yeah, Gabe knows that was probably out, but another speed up off the ground. And if we had an entire match of speed ups and hitting the net and the crowd, I don't know that they could survive. They just love a net cord. Oh, ho, ho. Tardio can't believe he missed it. Yeah, because he hasn't really been involved to the credit of Dylan and J-Dub so far. Had how a they, chance there. How have they done that it's, after this point? And that time it is Andre who speeds it up. And that is why there's so much dinking in this match. The hands all around are so good that if you bring it into that wall, it's going to come back so fast. And to answer your other question, they have been precise with their dinks. They haven't let a ball up. They have not given him a forehand off the bounce that he can go after. And that's just great pickleball. It's smart, strategic pickleball. That time, the dink traveled just a little too far, and good for Gabe, because sometimes when you haven't had it, you look for it on the wrong Three, seven, moment. One. Here's what it looks like to get beat with pace. Sorry, J-Dub. Andre is resetting closer to the kitchen and just not quite set and didn't get the paddle angle Three, seven, the way he two. wanted it there. Literally every time Dylan Frazier has gotten a ball to attack, they have won the rally. Sometimes it's the first one, sometimes it's five or six later, but they get ahead. I love the way Dylan Frazier has been playing today. Kitchen sink camera angle shows that hand speed front and center. Yeah, fortunately you don't have to turn your head back and forth when we got that beautiful look at it. Tough break off that and uh, encourage everyone at home to watch Gabe. Gabe is constantly looking to poke that backhand in there and find something to flick. Eight, three, and he pulls it back. So he is looking at every opportunity. And they choose not to switch this time.
Sandra Dyeski steps in nicely down the line on Johnson. I think they're going to stay with this uh, formation here, not have to run into a problem. Wow, that's the ball that Dylan usually makes. That's the danger of over there. They get lucky, and he pushes it just deep. W. Johnson tests the pace and gets the side out. Last night, Andre made every one of those. He'd get the first one to get the player out of position and win on the follow-up. That time he pushes it wide, so not at the same level so far. And going to stay on an odd on the opposite side they prefer. No one else is winning that hands battle but J.W. Johnson. And it's just, just so compact and ready, and it is truly a wall. Second serve. One more try to get game point here. So the fact that he's looking for it every time is to his credit. When he does get it, he's not surprised by it. Three, and nine, Gabe one. with a beautiful backhand flick. Second serve. Well played shot by Dylan Frazier right at the feet of Dice Q. Three, nine, two. Yeah, just not as sharp today. No points on the side of Tardio and Diascu. They'll have to unwind the stack as well. Wow, uh, Gabe called that wide. I like that that's, that's your job as the partner because Andre's like, ooh, this is gonna be close to the net. This is gonna be close to the ground. Get a good look at that. Well done by Gabe. There's the reach and the length of Diascu. He wasn't in the best Three, position, nine, but getting that next one back caused an error. Dylan <laughs> Frazier all over it. He is so good. Just terrific going Three, nine, with the first one, knowing that he has the paddle then shifted to the middle. That's where that ball's gonna come back to, no surprise. No-go zone on Dylan Frazier was a half step ahead of it. Yeah, I mean, if you are going to have an attack cross court, there's no chance against Dylan right there. He's just sitting on it. That's the one. Down the line, and he has not had many chances to do it. That's beautiful from Gabe. And folks, when you see these cross court attacks, everybody is like, oh, wait, the forehand's supposed to have the middle. Absolutely not. Yes, some of the time but not all the time, ever. Wow. Point. Game point. And there were no freebies. 
from Diascu and Tardio earlier in this tournament. They are there today, and it's a lot of it has to do with the pressure on them. Dylan Frazier and J.W. Johnson take game one. The official ball of the PPA Tour. here on Pick'em All TV ball, in Mesa, two, Arizona. Zero, Carvana zero, Mesa, Arizona Cup. The two seed, J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. Two games away from securing their first gold of 2024 as a team. Had five of those last season. Right along with five silver and five bronze medals last year. Very consistent duo. Zero, zero, one. Andre knows better too. <laughs> he looked at somewhere just when you look zero, off zero. into the distance and know <laughs> I just did bad things right there. So that won't happen again. Point. Okay, a little sloppy for J Dub and Dylan to start here. One zero two. And that's what this duo needs is Andre's level two, to zero, rise two. because then he will pick up Gabe along with him. I'm guessing he had some self-awareness about that as well at the break. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. so frustrated. He's had a bunch go right off the tape, tries to look to the heavens, but guess what? It's covered, so you can't see it. Zero, two, one. Yeah, and I like that Andre is being a little more aggressive when there's an opportunity there, zero, not just zero, laying zero. it back in, and that will help. Well, Andre, you didn't love the tape a minute ago, but that one popped right up to you, so uh, it, it evened out for him. Two, zero, the other one. interesting thing about Tardio is how high up on the grip he plays, too. Wow, that's just a terrific Second, volley sir. again. My goodness. Two, zero, two. Dylan Frazier sets himself up flawlessly. He's like 90% winning when he even just gets a dink on that side. He's choosing the right spots. He is two, two, then one. ready to finish off the next one. This guy's playing well. Trigger there for Gabe Tardio, the 19 year old. So he was sitting on the ball zero, out of the zero, air, zero. but that was such a dink that was going to sit up for him that he then got that second hand on there and went for it with the backhand. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. JW Boy. Johnson pickpockets him right on that hip. Yeah, and Gabe has had a lot of success of literally One, jumping two, two. and countering this week, but uh, that was way too far onto his outside. Couldn't get the ball.
We're not quite to Colin John's levels of upset with the tape, but Andre is approaching that. <laughs> I don't know two, if anyone two, two. No, that's, can fully reach that's Colin it. John's frustration level on the left courts. I'm pretty sure you can't. from J.W. Johnson as they recapture the lead in game number two. And Andre Three, just two, two. calm, encouraging. Doesn't want Gabe to get frustrated. Point. Uh, but Gabe did light it up again, and Andre told him go to the other side of his body, and he did not. And two times in a row, the backhand was down well before Gabe could respond. Four, two, two. Nice ball from Diascu inside out, finds the sideline, gets the serve back. Yeah, J Dub took a big step into the middle, and the ball never came anywhere near there. Two, four, no one. one's playing right field there. Oh, no, missed Second chance serve. for Gabe Tardio on a beautiful setup from Diascu. Clearly hunting for momentum. Two, four, two. Oh, my. He's got to no! Andre. No way. Get out of here. Andre Diescu on an impossible shot pulls this one off. I mean, you don't see clean passing shots in pickleball very often, but that's what happened there. Dylan gets beat. What a shot. After one of the classic J.W. Johnson overhead angles. Mark so, that as a key turning point. Yes. Got to follow it up though, right here. Sardio steps in and follows up a crucial momentum swinging point. Yes, and he was patient earlier. He had a couple looks and just rolled him back in there and then got one that was a little better and he made no mistake. Serve back over to Johnson and Frazier. Who are as poised as they always look. Just back for Diascu. Thought it almost maybe caught a paddle, just barely yeah. missed. Five, five, one. Point. So if Andre is going to come over and take that, he has got to get that back to Dylan Frazier. And J Dub read this beautifully and cut off that angle. And that's what you can do when the ball is not on your paddle. You can position yourself for the next shot. That is great by J W Johnson right there.
alley oh. for Andre Dieskew. Flirting with disaster, but again, that length gets him just enough to get out of control, because that's a tough ball to pop off of. Oh, my. Wow. And the level for Andre, like I said, it needed to for them to rally, has absolutely gone up here and good for him. And then he gets that stare. Five, and that six, stare <laughs> is legit. Pull the trigger down the middle. Did you like the choice to speed it up there? Yeah, just a little low, but again, they win this way, and that's why Andre went right over to him and just said, hey. Uh-oh. Another one off the tape. We're, on, we're not on DEF CON CJ, but uh, we're, 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 move, we're moving up. Six, five, well, last one. meeting, as you mentioned, we were in Palm Desert. Frazier and Johnson got the better of these two in two games in the round of 16 there. Couple of speed ups, so this is this is the heat check right here. Do you get passive or do you actually over amp and go for something even crazier? We're gonna keep an eye on Gabe here. Second serve. And Frazier's frustrated with that because he knows Tardio is in a questionable spot here and he left a dink up and Andre is not gonna let Seven that five, thing two. hit the ground. Well done from Diescu. Forehand speed up. Guess what? Frazier and Johnson won the rally. That's correct. You're correct. Eight five two. Side out. Better spot for Dyeski. Yes. That's the angle that he was winning on against Riley Five, Newman cross eight, court last night as he'd pull him just to the middle and then that sharp angle that he can get from that reach. That's the other advantage of being tall. Dylan, did you know that was coming? <laughs> oh my gosh, just demolished. Five, eight, two. Hand speed of Dylan oh, Frazier is just unbelievable, especially on that Five, right eight, side. Two. Can often be overshadowed in certain scenarios. from J.W. Johnson puts a tattoo on Andre. Defense, though, from Tardio yeah. Diascu to even get back to the kitchen in that rifling offense from these two. Yeah, I'd love to see more speed-ups off the bounce from uh, him than we've seen on others.
Beautiful finishing touch from Gabe Tardio makes it a two-point game. Six, eight, one. So that's about four forehand speed ups for these two that have gone astray either into the net or Six, deep. Eight, two. Point. Big opportunity. Seven, eight, they need to grab the second game and they're right there. Point. And a miss from Genevieve Johnson will bring it tie game eight apiece here in game two another team that doesn't call a lot of timeouts being j-dub and dylan they will but not here Side out. and then that's the one to ask you missed clearly frustrated with that Even that little just flick roll that got Gabe a little off balance, lovely from Nine Dylan. It's a half second out of yes. position. Point. All that J.W. Johnson game needs point. to clean it up. And game point, just Turn like that, receivers. just when you Ten think. Most of the group point, now, Michelle, is being able Ten to play point. all three at the highest level, and he is a special, special player. Uh-oh. Too high for the long range of Andre Daescu. Another try to close out game two here. Johnson cleans it up down the middle on the missed contact and 11-8 finish in game two. Time is running out for Gabe Tardio and Andre Diascu. Yeah. On the number two team in the world, J.W. Johnson three, and Dylan Frazier. How do they respond here in game three? Moments away from finding out on the serve of Tardio. I mean, that time he brought it back across, so not down the middle. And Here's I think Andre's one. like, I've got him fooled here. J-Dub all over it. That's impressive. Second serve. Zero, zero, two. It's interesting, J.W. Johnson always goes Here's with a slice time. ATP, he cuts it there, and most players will roll that, hit the outside of the ball. He went with a different thing, but what's critical is that your partner slides over and fills like Dylan Frazier did there. Because a couple years ago, ATP, everyone would go and everyone would scream, yay, winner! Now it's just a part of Here's winning a rally in Dylan Frazier played his role to perfection right there. Side out. First time the speed up from Dylan Frazier was too high and Zero, that one, time one. Andre's all over it. Point.
there was a moment where neither Gabe nor Andre knew which side of the court they were playing. <laughs> they had to look back <laughs> over his one shoulder. One. Where is everybody? And it worked out. Point. That time Andre decided to try and blow up Dylan and he knows it's going well deep. So the only challenge Three, with one, having one. great hands is you can get to everything. Letting the ball go is more difficult sometimes. The pressure from Gabe Tardio. And that's why Andre is not going to tell him to stop. That time, though, he went with the backhand back across his body to the outside shoulder of Dylan Frazier. That ball is not going to stay in the court, but he can't get out of the way again. Shake and bakes were so good for the giant killers, as I called him to ask you and Tardio earlier in the week. Not so much here today so far. Point. Too good of a deflection from JW Johnson. His ability to manipulate that paddle positioning at the last second is unreal. Yeah, and that was one of those Gabe's been trying to fake that speed up there. And these these three and these four have played so much Point. together that you're not gonna you're not gonna fool me. You're just not. Turns into a Princess Bride situation. Am I gonna do it or am I not gonna do it? Inconceivable is the answer. Andre is absolutely trying to tag Dylan with that Remember one, but uh, Dylan one. got out of the way. And despite the lead created by Tardio and Diescu, Johnson and Frazier come right back and capture the one point lead in game three. They have a chance to close out their first title of 2024 on the other side of the break. Crowd is still standing strong here in Mesa, Arizona. They love their pickleball, and they have been with us since 10 a.m. local time this morning. And those bright greens with the DF on there, are those Dave Fleming's? No, those are Dylan Frazier's. Those are Dylan Frazier's, and uh, Team Dylan Frazier's uh, out in full force here. So I'm not to get one of those shirts and then just tell him it means something different. Maybe Frazier's willing to share with you. I bet Dave. you he would. He's a great kid. He is. One of the nicest kids you'll meet.
much better game there. He sort of went off speed and surprised J.W. Johnson and then finished that one off. Well done. And it's actually Andre over the last couple of minutes that has been a little trigger happy on not the right Six ball. He is lunging out of position there and Dylan loved that little gift. Let's it fly, it's deep. 7-4-2. These two are like magicians on the kitchen line, Frazier and Johnson. Boy, and Andres hit a rough patch here, and this has got to be fixed Eight, right four, now. Two. Shot by Tardio being ready because Dylan Frazier saw an opportunity. Four, eight, one. Oh, oh my, oh. as Second crisp turn. of a volley oh. as they come. Oh my gosh, Tardio destroyed Four, eight, that two. drive and Dylan acted like it was hit at five <laughs> miles an hour. That was amazing. Yeah. GW yeah. once again. Oh, yeah. I mean, J-Dub with the bullet backhand volley and then the forehand nice and smooth down the middle. 8-4-1. Wow. 8-4-1. Three points away from a title. Not yet. Second serve. Second server. 8-4-2. Nice step in from Andre Diascu. No points for Johnson and Frazier. Four, eight, one. Four point gap for Tardio and Diascu. Here's an update from the draw. Second Connor serve. Garnett. Jack Sock, who's been quite a sensational talent here on the PPA Tour. Four, eight, yeah, Garnett two. won that uh, pretty handily, it looked like, by the score. Yeah, uh, Fed has beaten Jack in both of his uh, singles battles in the PPA Tour so far this year. Points. Oh, and uh, Dylan catches a flyer there, so uh, within three. Jimmy Johnson seemingly unfazed. They're always unfazed. They do a great Point. composure for their young age, and Andre Diascu realizes the situation at hand, pulls back within two. And finally got the shake and bake, the drive from Gabe and then the finishing touch from Andre. That has been so good for them this week. My goodness. Wow. Perfect topspin lob by Tardio. Let's see. It's 11-3, 11, 11-8, 11, 8, 8, 7, and this seven, is the eight, first eight. time he's thrown that lob up from the same position. The disguise was the key to that. That was great from Gabe. Oh, Gabe Tardio wanted that line drive on Frazier. Yeah, and that's one where I'd love for him not to have done that. He, I mean, the Eight, minute seven, the ball one. was hit over there on the dink prior to that, he loaded up the two-handed backhand. Just wide for Diascu. And another point to Johnson and Frazier, who now stand two points away from a title. Nine, Here's seven, another one. update. Oh, a good Johnson win. and Humberg taking down David and Bright. That's a big win. Second serve. George's brother JW trying to yes. clinch gold here on center. Busy. Picking up medals all over the grounds <laughs> yeah. here are this family. 
Where's Julie? Which one she's watching, I wonder. <laughs> Good pressure from Tardio and Diascu. Take the serve back. Only surrender one point. Yeah, that's huge. So we'll see if they look at the shake and bake or if it's returned to Andre on the backhand, he'll just drop it. Oh, man. Second serve. He even pointed to where he should have hit it, but and that's back cross court because J-Dub's so aggressive in the middle, but he had pulled the last one a little wide, and that gets in your head just for a second. Overcooked the return, did Frazier, and a one-point game continues for Tardio and Diascu. Giving it one last go to extend this championship match. Dink goes into the net for a side out. Tough miss. Yeah, because Gabe went after his serve, and then they had a great shake and yeah. bake, but the hands of Dylan Frazier saved them. Gabe Tardio on the attack. Daskew closes. I just love that he is not playing scared, safe, or any word in that area of synonyms. I mean, he is going for it. J.W. Johnson brings championship point to his side. There's a smiley Georgia Johnson on the sideline cheering her big brother, J.W. Survival on the side of Tardio and Daescu. Not a lot of room left. They have to go here. Gabe Tardio steps in with aggression, pulls him within one point. Yeah, he's been the key here. Andre's the one that has been a little bit up and down, and Gabe has been there for him. Dylan Frazier absolutely clutch at the kitchen. Yeah, J.W. Johnson was able to get his paddle on the first one, and that was the key here. Oh, no one was willing to pull the trigger, trigger in the dink battle. And a championship point now for Johnson and Frazier. Second chance to close it out. Oh, Dylan Frazier couldn't get out of the way. Wow, that is going to hit the video board, but uh, just caught a piece of the paddle. Champ point number three.
gave Tony Awane and Dylan Frazier and JW Johnson close out a three game thriller 11-9 to finish against their good buddies down Boy. south in three games and survived a couple of gnarly match points so Dylan we begin with you walk us back through that dink clinic you guys put on the final point what was happening what was running through your mind what was the strategy between you two yeah they're hitting really good dinks to us uh, unattackable so we were looking for opportunities to speed up they weren't just giving they just weren't giving us many so uh try to stay patient stay disciplined we're comfortable in those long dink rallies and and we're and we you know not afraid to do the hands battles either so just it was just a matter of staying disciplined uh we practiced with those guys uh, a lot back in south florida so it's and we weren't surprised at all to see them in the final here they're playing really well they're really tough they hang in there they're great competitors well, it was a fun match to watch, and JW, we got to give your partner some credit here. This guy doesn't get nearly enough on the right side, had some crucial saves and resets on his side. What do you like the most about the way Dylan Frazier is able to perform consistently? Yeah, I mean, he's just a really solid player, a lot of, a lot of weapons, especially the overhead. That's one of his uh, favorite weapons right there. <laughs> but, uh, no, uh, we also have great chemistry as well, so that helps a lot too. Um, and, yeah, he's a great player overall. It's your first gold medal of 2024. You guys got five last season, 15 in total, beating the Johns brothers with podium finishes. So consistent for this team. Where does this team go for here, from here in 2024? Uh, we're going to keep trying to add stuff to our game. You know, the game is uh, continuing, continuing to advance, and, and players are trying different stuff, so you got to keep up with it. Um, but hopefully we can keep the momentum going into the next one. Well, you guys do that so well. Time now to welcome in our title sponsor from Carvana, Blake Williams, to deliver some hardware to these two. Thank you guys for coming out today. Great match overall. And on behalf of Carvana and the PPA Tour, I'd like to give this trophy to J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier. Congratulations, guys.